Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Sideline Bling. And guess who's back, but not in cleats. Who, Eliana? Memphis Depay is back, and he's back from the rap game. Well, I, I don't know if I'm excited for this, but I know he's not the only athlete that has other musical talents. No, we have Juan Fernando Quintero doing reggaeton. We have Cristiano Ronaldo with the romantic ballads. And then we have your favorite, Jesse. No, Eliana, please make them stop, make them stop. How about we talk about the College Football National Championship? Louisiana State University was so pumped to go out on that field that they knocked down a cameraman. Poor guy. Oh my god, I hope he's doing okay. He probably is, but in the end, LSU went on to defeat Clemson, and Odell Beckham Jr. congratulated his alma mater with more than just a shout out on social media. He made it rain on Jefferson, but I don't think that's legal in college football. It's not. And in recent headlines, Summer Tapasa was recently fired from her job from tackling down a thief from stealing at Best Buy. And guess who was impressed? Dana White, he's inviting her for the fight of McGregor versus Cowboy. And I have to ask, who are you gonna go for? I'm going for Cowboy because he's fighting on home soil. He has the most UFC wins in history and he has his own beer. Sorry, I gotta go for McGregor. Tuesday was a historic day in the WNBA with their groundbreaking labor deal announcement, which included an upgrade in their accommodations, paid maternity leave, an increase in salaries, and a potential equal revenue split. This is amazing. And not to mention, you guys, this is not the first major league to do this. Major League Soccer has done this. The NBA has done this. Just for you guys to educate yourselves a little bit. Tyler here was at the NBA store signing jerseys, but someone asked him to sign a bucket, which I thought it was hilarious. I think it's the best idea ever. At just 19 years of age, he's averaging 13 points per game. So, I mean, of course they're gonna ask him to sign a bucket. And speaking of basketball, Zion was seen falling asleep at a game. He probably had a major food coma. That's what happens to me when I eat a bunch of pizza. Me too. Not only did Ecuador introduce their new men's soccer coach, Jordi Cruyff, but they also presented their new logo, which has many Ecuadorians wondering what happened to the Andean condor. But the video tweeted out by the Federation does a pretty cool idea of explaining how the wings become the logo. It is a new decade. I think it's classy. It's very elegant. I personally love it. What do you guys think? It's time for fits, kits, and kicks. Yes, it is. And we're going to start off with Arsenal. An Arsenal fan posted on Twitter that he tailored the Arsenal logo inside his tuxedo before the wedding. You know what song wasn't playing at his wedding, Ellie? What song? The Champions League anthem. Ouch. <laughs> Manchester United and Adidas launched their Chinese New Year kit because it's the year of the rat. And last time it was the year of the rat, Manchester United won the Champions League. So maybe it'll give him a little bit of luck for the Europa League. I hope so. Club America's third 2020 kit was released, inspired by the Aztec Empire. Cool colors, but I'm not feeling the sponsor placement. I gotta ask, is it teal or is it turquoise? It's turquoise. I think it's teal. I know you guys have been seeing some leaked images of Boca Juniors and Adidas, okay. but it is official. They did come out with two new jerseys, and I really, really like the white one. And they're for sure gonna be rocking it in the Copa Libertadores. Yes, and don't forget that next week, our coverage starts here on BN Sports. <laughs>